Can you imagine being a ghost in purgatory and you can't pass on to the other side until you finish paying your student loans? <laughs> You talk, you talk to another ghost and it's like, oh, what are you in here for? Not paying my student loan debt. Um, and also, how would you pay it off then? Like, who, do I, who would I have to haunt? I hope I get to haunt Eric Barron. That's my, I hope I would get to haunt Eric Barron. Um, I hope that would be my assignment. But now the motor, people just tell me that I remind them of Forrest Gump. <laughs> and I think it's because we have the same haircut. So, my hairline is receding a little bit. Uh, you can see it more when I get a haircut. The one time I was at the sink in my dorm, communal bathrooms, real cool. And I'm washing my hands. Somebody sees that I got a haircut. He goes, oh, Mickey, did you get a haircut? I'm like, yeah, thanks for noticing. He goes, he goes anybody ever make fun of you with your hairline? I go, yeah, right now. I also really do miss my mom. Quarantine really made me get closer with my mom a lot and being back at school I miss her and I'm kind of realizing my mom is also like the best wingman I've ever had and I feel like all of our moms right everyone's mom is kind of their best wingman like a lot of the lessons that they teach us later in life you don't get it like spankings she was just building your tolerance guys listen to your mom call your mom you guys deserve the answer to the rest of the universe so here it is. I have spent years, I spent years getting to this place. I spent years building up the strength by poisoning my family slowly every day, by poisoning all my loved ones so I could get that spot on the will. Very easy. Patience. Patience, am I right? And what did it get me? Generational wealth. Thank you so much, TEDx. Invest in Twitter. Invest in Uber. Invest in Facebook.